Today's Sunday. It is the Sunday before Christmas. We're gonna be making fresh bread because I need bread for Christmas, which we won't be baking until probably Christmas day. Um, some of that. I'm going to be making fresh bread for this week to eat on, as well as pepperoni rolls tonight for supper. So I'll be filming all of that tomorrow. We're gonna be starting the cookie doughs. I'm gonna go ahead and bake some up because we're sending those out for Christmas presents. And then I'm gonna save some of the dough in the freezer to pull out and bake some Christmas Eve. And then we'll go from there. I do have a few presents to wrap as well. So I might get some of that in today and tomorrow. And probably a little bit later as well. So I do have some cleaning to do still, laundry to do, and things like that. So that'll be sprinkled. So that'll be sprinkled throughout the week as well. So yeah, just thought I would jump on here real quick and tell y'all what we were doing today. <laughs> and my heart's going boom boom. So this weekend we were puppy sitting for my grand puppies. So we have Ruger and Layla and Sophie is just absolutely enjoying her time with them. We've had them for two days and she is just absolutely over the moon and she slept so good <laughs> when Ruger and Layla went home last night and she just had all kinds of fun with them. Just talking on the phone, I make you feel at home. Oh, when I got you by my side, what a night! Oh, girl, I won't let you go. When the sky comes alive, it's our jolly holiday. Christmas town. We're Santa's little helpers, and it's us you wanna know. If you wanna date under the mistletoe, we're Santa's little helpers. Oh, we make all the toys, the trinkets for the girls, and the trucks for the boys. We're Santa's little helpers, so we know every trick, cause we wrote the book on old Saint Nick. It's a foggy. Thank you. 
So with this batch of bread dough, we got two full loaves, one of which we will be baking on Christmas Day. So I put that one in the freezer. One we went ahead and baked this day. And then we also made 16 pepperoni rolls. And some of my pepperoni rolls, I didn't have enough dough to make them nice and fluffy, but they still tasted really good. <laughs> I used an entire bag. We just opened that bag of pepperoni. And I used the entire bag of pepperoni for all of the 16 pepperoni rolls that we made. I didn't have cheese, but um, pepper jack cheese or even just mozzarella cheese, really good in pepperoni rolls like these. But I didn't have any, so I didn't put any in. It was just strictly pepperoni and bread, and they were really, really good. So if you guys give this a try, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think. I really like this bread. And it's nice, it's an easy, super easy bread, and you don't have to be gentle with it. I, I love that about it. And it doesn't really take hardly any time at all. The longest part of making this bread is letting it rise. And you do that in specific in increments. Like at the very beginning, when you add the yeast to the water, it's like 10 minutes to let it activate. And then once you get all the bread mixed and you let it set, it's another 30 to 45 minutes. To let it rise and then i missed out on the punching the bread dough down i thought i was recording that it is so satisfying <laughs> but apparently i forgot to hit record so oh well but that part once you get all of that done you let your bread dough rise for another 30 to 45 minutes i usually go the full 45 minutes so I usually go the full 45 minutes just to give it a little extra time to rise. And then, so there's what, an hour and a half uh, of rising time. And then you bake it for half an hour. So since I set the timer when I finished my loaf of bread for 30 minutes. And by the time I was done with my pepperoni rolls, it was almost time to put that in the oven. And then once the bread itself was done, I cooked that for 30 minutes in the oven at 350. And then once that was done, I put my pepperoni rolls in for 30 minutes and let them cook as well. They turned out perfect. There's nothing gooey or anything on the inside. They're beautifully browned and it's really good bread. So again, if you give this a try, let me know down in the comments below. I wanna thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It lets both YouTube and myself know that you are enjoying this content and I'll make some more videos for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.